the declared winner of the recently concluded uh, presidential election, Aswajibola Tinubu, has called security agencies on P2B. He is requesting them to caution him against making incendiary comments capable of throwing the nation into a tailspin. He went even further to ask the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, to caution television stations against granting access to P2B to legitimize the presidential election. He said that they advised the NBC to caution TV houses, giving Obi the platform to legitimize, to delegitimize a free and a fair election when, I mean, when he has taken his case to court. Uh, the Tinubu made the um, demand through his um, director of media and publicity of his campaign organization, Mr. Bayo Onanuga. And this is most unfortunate. I don't know if uh, the Tinubu himself read this or is just coming from this or, or Onanuga. How can you ask television stations in Nigeria not to grant access? to P2 be a presidential candidate that lost an election. You want to institute in Nigeria what we call the uh, uh, silence of the lambs. Everything we jo everybody should just shut up. No discussion, no talking, just wait for the court. What is the problem with um, broadcasting stations doing their duty? Obi has been in, invited to many stations before the election, during the election, after the election, and it will continue this way. I think what is happening here is that you, you are trying to use Obi as an excuse. Otherwise, you, the president-elect, you can go to all these media houses. You should be the focus of the interview. Go there and answer questions. If they ask you that you read the election or something like that, you can tell them, oh, the matter is in court. But you cannot ask other people not to talk. Your media aides are talking. It's not only on television. There is also Twitter. There are social media that people use, and they go even f much further than what is uh, discussed on Nigerian television because Nigerian TVs are mostly for local consumption. On Twitter, Femi Fanekayode is busy every time. Festus Kayemo is uh, busy every time. They are calling on foreign powers to come and congratulate you, recognize you, give you a phone call. So, what do you want p to b to do? To go and sleep? Everybody should just sleep because you have won the... I mean, this is a bad start. You're already sanctioning the media shutting them up not to talk to a particular person when you are not even sworn in as the, the president after elections buhari they did protest in the street they did everything p2b is trying everything to hold the youth in check don't go out in the street and now you are saying also nothing should be discussed on the media that's that's unfortunate. This is a very, very wrong approach to the issue or way to start. He said that they are worried about the recent media rounds on Arise TV and Channels TV in which he made profound, misleading, criminally false and inciting statements about the election that he lost woefully. You see, when you mixing you're talking facts you talk facts then don't bring in woefully here if he's criminal anything he said sue him to court if he did a criminal activity if he insulted you or gave whatever take him to court and not to tell the media houses not to grant him access anymore and this I mean, he pointed out specifically Arise TV and Channels TV. What of Tinibu's media empire, the TVCs and the rest of them? Who talks there? We have seen um, 
uh, APC stalwarts on TV also making some wild claims about uh, the coming election in uh, Lagos, about how Peter will be won in Lagos, why he won in Lagos. And he made all those propositions and he was on TV. He even went outside, I mean, beyond bounds that the, 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 the people had to call him back. And he agreed and uh, recanted some of the statements or at least toned down his rhetoric. So what is the fear here? Go out on the TV and talk. And don't tell a TV house not to grant interview to access to P2B. What do you people, are you in a military regime or is that what you are going to see? It cannot work like that. If you want to attack the TV station, you attack them directly, but don't use uh, P2B as an uh, excuse. This election has to be discussed and talked about. Foreign dignitaries in Nigeria come to the same TV stations and they ask them the questions. They said what they th uh, think about the election. So it's calling on security agencies to caution P2B from further making incendiary remarks, especially after he claimed he's challenging the results of the election. In the I mean, this is a total... The language is not even... Look at what he's saying, especially after he claimed that he's, challenge, he's challenging it. He's already in the court. You know that. Don't say that he claimed. It is really. Many people talk on the matter. There are things that are sub -judice. The ones, areas you should not go into. Uh -huh. But any other thing, you can discuss what is allowed. Okay? Anyway, that's very... Uh, it's quite a long statement with insinuations and this and that. Uh, he mentioned specifically something. He said we claim the we consider the claim by the former governor of Anambra State as very fraudulent, as he fell short of winning any mandate. He came third, not even second, losing a by 2.6 million votes to President-elect Bola Tinubu, despite getting outrageously padded votes from his ethnic southeast and i mean you are saying let him not have access but you're pouring out the garbage through your own comment and there's something they keep saying about this southeast padded votes i we made a video jonathan won 98 percent of the votes in anambra state during his time Obasanjo won 72% during his time. Jonathan won 98 points, almost 99% in his Bielsa state. So this is uh, to be winning 92% in Anambra state. Even if it's 97, it's not new in Nigerian election. So people don't do research, they don't check, they just come and confuse people who cannot see these things. There is the reports are there. Jonathan won 98% in Anambra State. And in uh, his Bielsa, he won 99% during those elections. He won everything is 90% in the Southeast. Anyway, this is the latest development. Let's see how Bolatinobu goes ahead to do this. Um, please, like this video, share, let it go around, and we'll see you in our next updates.